I get up early before the gym is open. Not checking the phone. No text messages, no IG, no social media, nothing whatsoever. I have my coffee or my pre-workout and just in silence. Just kind of reflecting, uh, just thinking what I want to accomplish today. What have I accomplished? Things like that. It becomes a routine that every time that you get up and it creates a habit, I should say, that every time that you get, you get up, you go into like a mindful room reflection because once the day starts for me once the sun comes up and like the day begins i'm just i'm going i'm going i'm going i'm going and things can get crazy things get chaotic things i have no control over but what i can control is let me get up early it's been a 4 a.m wake up call just so i can have just a little bit more time so i feel like i'm not rushing so i can get out the door to go to the gym and you know just setting a tone for the day Right, starting starting off proper. Once again, we talked about those small wins. You know, then I'm off to the gym. So whatever stress or whatever this, I'm just that's bothering me. That's on my mind. We're gonna go crazy in the gym now, or at jujitsu. I let it all out. And with that, that's still mindful reflection. That's still taking in. Okay, what's going on? You know. What do I need to, to work on? Where am I at with everything? That's why I tend to not listen to any music when I'm in the gym. Even doing cardio now, I don't listen to any music. There's no podcast. It's nothing. Driving to the gym, I used to, you know, I'm trying to get hyped up. So the music is, the music is on. And lately, I've just I've not even really been listening to any music. I tried to limit it when I'm driving, right? So I'll, I'll have like a portion of time. Okay, I'll listen to a podcast, listen to this. But then the other portion... I'm not listening to anything. I'm just going within, basically, like I said before, mindful reflection. So try that out. You start having that mindful reflection, it's going to create that positive feedback loop, and that could set a tone for your day. And you may need that. A lot of times, most of the time, we are our, we are our own worst enemies. I know everybody has experienced that where where is this talk coming from? Why am I saying these things to myself? Why, where, where are these beliefs coming from? Who has told me this? Nobody, like I have. So maybe you just need to, you know, just shut everything down. Just reflect. And yes, we, I get it. We all have busy schedules. You have a busy schedule. You're ripping and running, but that's your responsibility to work on you, your self-care. Because if you're telling me you're busy with the family, you're busy with this, well, how can you be the best provider? How can you be the best person that you can be for your family or whatever's going on for your job, for your business? How are you able to do that? If you are operating at 60%, if you are operating at 70%, if you are battling things that's keeping you down from being the best version of yourself and being and continue to be a better version. So if you want to be that person that steps up for your family, for your business, or you're just stepping up for you in your name. All of the above. You're going to have to work on that. That takes work. That takes time. That takes energy. That takes action. It's not just, here I am, let's get to it. Oh, things happen. Things get in the way, but that's the whole point of all of this. And that's where you can become stronger because that's where people will start to fall off when it becomes tough, when it becomes difficult. So you got to do these rituals, do these steps. Some people, you may just need to just journal. You need to just write what's going on. Whatever it takes that can get you to your better version of yourself. And then you can present it to the world. So I, I always say, get up early. That's where the, the wake up time comes from. Why I'm so adamant about it. For me, that gives me an opportunity to go into that reflection. It gives me an opportunity just to think. It just gives me an opportunity to be grateful. And I'm, I mean, I'm grateful throughout the whole day. It's always gratitude throughout the whole day. But I take that time to just get to set the tone for the day. Because once the sun comes up, once things start to get moving and things are opening up, I'm zoned out. I'm all over the place. So... For those few hours in the morning before anything is going on, because that's why so if you like, how are you able to can you sustain this and can you keep this going? Like what happens if, you know, you get a position and you don't have time? Listen, nobody's up at five o'clock. Business is not moving at five o'clock. 
Business is not moving at 4 a.m. I'll get a 24-hour gym membership and be in that gym at 3.30. It's still going to be that same wake-up time. When I'm out the country on vacation somewhere, it's still the same wake-up time. You find a way. You make it happen. If you really want it, you'll find a solution. Let's go.